Section 1.4, Measure and Classify Angles. An angle, and that's supposed to read an angle, not end, angle, so let's fix that real quick. An angle consists of two different rays, which we've talked about, with the same end point. The rays make up what we call the sides of the angle, and the common end point is the vertex of the angle. So a lot of new vocabulary here. Let's use an example to make sense of it. In the example you have on your screen, I want you to name the three angles in the diagram below. The very important thing you need to know about naming angles is you always name them with a point on the side, the vertex point, and then the other point on another side. So one of the angles here is angle, and we use this symbol, W, X, Y, which is formed by ray X, W and ray X, Y. Go ahead, try to name the other two on your own, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay. Real quick before we jump into the other two angles, you could also name angle WXY angle YXW. It means the same exact angle because we have the same vertex and we have the same two sides of XW and XY. Okay, your other two angles on the screen one is this angle here, the bottom angle, which we can name either angle YXZ or angle ZXY. And then lastly, we have the big angle, which we can name that angle, angle WXZ or angle ZXW. And so those are your three angles that we have on this picture. Notice the vertex is always the center letter. And all of these three angles have the same vertex of X. Do make special note that angles can be measured in degrees The value of an angle's measure will range from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. And a full circle, well, you know what? So you got to be careful here. A lot of the angles that we measure, we do measure up to 180 degrees for these special angles. However, you can go as high as you want to. That's something special you can look at with geometry. Um, a full circle has 360 degrees. So if I was to start with this ray here, ray AB, and extend it around 360 degrees, I would get a full circle. 180 degrees just gives me a flat line. And then here's something special for those of you who are interested. Let's say I wanted to go 720 degrees. That would be a full circle 360 plus another full circle. This is 720 degrees. For those of you who do uh, various tricks, snowboarding tricks, skateboarding tricks, those kinds of things, you know, 360, 720, that kind of stuff, that might help you here. 360 is a full rotation. 720 is two full rotations. And then do be careful when you're using notations with angles. If we use a little M in front, so if we say the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle XYZ, we're talking about their degrees. We can say that they're congruent by saying that the angle ABC is congruent to angle XYZ. So we see measurement versus shape and size.